to the channel. I know it's been a couple of months since I've posted a video. I just wanted to come on here and say hi and share a little clip with you right now. So I randomly decided to take a pregnancy test. I don't know about you, but I totally see two clear lines there. which means I'm pregnant <laughs> and I am home alone. My husband went to the store to get me some stuff to bake for my coworker's birthday this week. And I don't know, just little things made me want to take the test today. Today is the first day of my period, but it didn't start yet. And just something in my head said to take it. And I was expecting nothing, but there's a second faint line there, but it's, dark enough to see and I'm just waiting for my husband to get home from the store so I can be like hi oh by the way it's our one year wedding anniversary today I just I'm in complete disbelief I don't believe it like I'll, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow to take another one and another one and another one but can you imagine is this real or so guys as you can tell yes I am pregnant I am currently, today actually marks five weeks pregnant. Um, it's the day before Thanksgiving and I am heading to Walmart right now just to get a few things. Um, we're having Thanksgiving at my mom's tomorrow. Tonight we're doing Thanksgiving, a version of Thanksgiving, I should say, with my in-laws. Um, they don't really do like the whole turkey and stuff, they're making something else, but it doesn't matter. We're just gonna be together. Um, so, I haven't seen my nephew or my niece um, in, like since the beginning of October, I think it was. I, Excuse me, I don't remember, I'm quite sure. But um, I have their birthday gifts that I was putting together and because I haven't been out there, I haven't seen them, I haven't been able to give it to them. But um, I was looking through them and I realized I never quite finished getting things for my nephew. So, with that being said, since I have to grab a few things anyway at Walmart, I feel like this woman just wants to hit me. Jeez. I go a little slower. Um, I figure I'm going to look around and see what I can find for him. If not, there's always gift cards. <laughs> Which I know my husband got him a gift card, but get him a gift card and that's okay. I don't know. I just feel like when I was looking through his gifts, there was other things I was going to get him and just, you know, time has escaped me because a lot has been going on, but yeah. So very exciting. I am pregnant after, gosh, almost a year of trying like a good eight months or so on and off for the past year. Um, my husband and I are very excited. I didn't film his reaction because we actually found out on my, on our, excuse me, one year wedding anniversary and the test strips, which I'll show you a picture of the first time that I took it. It was just so faint that I didn't believe I was pregnant. Like it was the first day of a missed period. I'm just like, no symptoms or nothing, nothing other than, oh, maybe my period's a day or two late or, you know, that kind of thing. But um, I really just didn't even think that I was, it was just kind of random too. Like we were off that day for our anniversary and something just told me, like we took our dog Ellie, which is our new puppy to the vet that day to get her shots. And then we were just, like my husband had to go run an errand and I was just like, um, Sorry, I'm all over the place because I don't know what I've caught up. I think I've really tried filming things and never, never really put it together. Um, I guess I should recap back a second because I realized I just mentioned our new puppy, but I didn't mention that Lily has passed away. If you follow me on Instagram, then you know that Lily, um, you know, she's no longer with me, sadly. And I wasn't really thinking I would get a puppy right away but then 
things just kind of happened and we found this dog, this little multi poodle. So she's a half Maltese, half poodle and it just kind of happened and that's okay. And then like the weekend we got her, we actually conceived a child. So <laughs> it's all so crazy. Um, but yeah, so we have a puppy who's about four months and um, have her, she's been with us for a few weeks now. And like I was saying that, that day, that Monday, we were both off and something just like overcame me and like, oh, just take the test for fun. Like just, you know, whatever not expecting anything like you know it was just like something weird came over me and I just had to go find out and then sure enough I'm, I'm pregnant <laughs> and my husband came back home from the store and he had flowers for me because he went to go pick them up and surprise me for our anniversary um, so then I told him okay well I have to show you your gift because I I have another one for you so I'm like holding his hand, leading him to the bathroom because <laughs> I'm going to show him the test strip. And I was just like, so this gift is unexpected. And he's like, why are you bringing me in here kind of thing? Like not sure what's going on. And he saw it and he just like, oh my God, you're pregnant. And he was so happy. Um, we were both in like shock and disbelief. Like we really just, this isn't happening, you know, like not. So we didn't tell family that day or the next day like the I said I would go get a blood test done to confirm it just to make sure because it was so faint I didn't believe it and I had taken like a total of four tests in two days you know to the first day to the second day and when we when I went to excuse me the doctor like just the urgent care clinic they said, if you have a positive test, we don't recommend doing the blood test, like you're pregnant. So I showed her the photos. I'm like, can I show you the photos? She's like, of course. She took one look at it. And even though the line was faint, she went right away. Yeah, you're pregnant. <laughs> I was just like, nah. She's like, we could do a urine test here now if you want to just like, we can confirm it again kind of thing. So we did and she came back, I'm pregnant. And like, I'm so excited, but I'm still was like, so in shock and disbelief, like, I know this woman is telling me I'm pregnant, but I don't believe her. It was kind of funny. But um, there's a lot of traffic here. I'm gonna come back to you. Okay, sorry about that, we're back. There was just like um, an accident where it looks like a tire blew out on a truck, so they were pulled over. And I just, it was going, I just wanted to get through there safely first. So yes, I am pregnant and I am so excited. I know I can't share this video with you guys. It's the end of November pretty much and um, I can't share it until like the new year because <laughs> I want to make sure everything goes smoothly with my first trimester um, and obviously I want to make sure that family and friends know first. Our immediate family do know. Um, my in-laws know. My mother, my sister, my brother-in-law, my niece and nephew know, my father knows, and that's it for right now. Um, we're not telling any of our friends until I want to get my first prenatal visit and after we're at the heading into the second trimester because I know there is more of a risk in the first one. Um, and I'm not even going to speak it out loud. I don't want to say the word because I just am praying hoping for just everything to go smoothly and healthy um, but I did book my first prenatal visit and I already think I'm going to be canceling it because my mother-in-law suggested asking our family doctor for a referral because she's never steered her wrong and I just kind of got whoever was available that day because we have a half day at work and my husband was off and we could go together but then after she had said that to me, I was curious about the doctor who I've never seen before. And I'm not excited that it's a male doctor. Nothing against men, it's just, if someone's gotta go up my ho -ha there, like I'd rather it be a female, I would feel more comfortable. That's just how I feel. I know a lot of women feel that way and some just don't care. But I'm one of the ones who is like, ah, oh, God, no thank you. Um, but I already feel lied to by the office because they said it was just 
a consultation and then when I called back because apparently he was going to be in surgery and they had to push me back two hours um, I was told that it's a physical exam a consult kind of thing where they go over information and then they would try to squeeze me in for an ultrasound which is weird that it's just not all done at the same time but whatever like I don't know but I decided to look up the doctor and find the reviews on him and it was nothing but negative like only one person said something nice about a surgery everybody else had horrible things to say and it just really made me feel like oh my goodness I don't want to go see this doctor it makes me feel uncomfortable now so I'm going to my family doctor today this afternoon early afternoon and I'm gonna ask her if she knows of the doctor if she thinks what the people had said online to be accurate um, if she agrees with it or not pretty much and then if she doesn't think you know if she doesn't think it's a good match then maybe she can recommend someone better I know she will recommend someone better if I ask her so I'm just gonna kind of see what happens and then if anything I will cancel that appointment and just reschedule somewhere else um, another thing I had to do which was cancel my Weight Watchers I haven't told the ladies in the group yet because again it's just way too soon but I'm like friends with them and you know I, I will tell them I think I'm just gonna show up one day in the new year and just be like oh hi by the way but I can't do it now because it's too soon and like my closest friends don't know so you know and everyone's different on how they want to tell people if they want to wait or if they're so excited they want to share it like I really want to just like shout it out to everyone be like oh my god you know but I gotta play it safe and be smart because god forbid if anything did happen just imagine like everyone you told you have to untell and that's just so much more painful what is this guy doing like literally about to hit me such an idiot I don't know if you saw that, like if you could see how close he just got. Such an this year and then I'm just gonna try and see what I can find for my nephew or maybe a little toy for my niece because I got her like Halloween stuff for her birthday because her birthday was right before Halloween and everything and so it was my nephew but I didn't get them like like a toy or something to play with so we shall see I'm gonna see what I can find but yep that's the update for now guys I figure I will do some videos letting you know how I'm feeling how things are going um maybe it'll take you by a couple of weeks i'll be making stuff i just won't be able to post anything right now but um yeah i will fill you guys in at another time i will speak to you later bye here waiting to see my doctor there's a baby growing in there <laughs> hey guys hope you're doing well sorry for the weird angle i'm sitting on my living room floor right now, Gamora, our sweet dog, our mini gold news pass out here. And then that's the puppy, Ellie. Um, and then Maddie's over here, but you can't see her. I am just working on my Christmas cards. I've been watching some vlogs, trying to prepare myself for my future. Day in the life of state, like not so much stay at home moms, but moms who are home caring for their kids. Um, so you guys know that I'm pregnant and by the title of this video, you're going to know something else. I'm not just pregnant, but I'm having twins, which is crazy, <laughs> but I am having twins and um, I've been thinking a lot about our space lately and how 
we don't have a lot of space. We're not in a position to get home right now. So we're just trying to find ways to make our space more functional and better. So eventually we're going to like swap where the living room and the dining room stuff is. Try to create more space in here. So that way there's going to be a ton of baby things everywhere pretty much. So like little swing sets maybe we can put out here and I don't know what else. But um, I really don't know. <laughs> All I know is that we need like double of everything and that's crazy. So yeah, right now I'm currently at seven weeks. I want to vlog and let you guys know how I've been doing um, like during this first trimester so far and even how we found out about the twins. Um, so I guess if we just hang out for a few right now, I could tell you that um to just go back a little because I know I filmed some clips but I haven't started putting stuff together for you guys because you know obviously family and close friends we want to tell first and then wait till we're out of the first trimester to then share with everyone openly um but to go back on our one-year wedding anniversary we both took the day off and we had our first doctor's appointment for Ellie her doctor's appointment like a vet you know what I'm saying right Am I getting baby brains already? I don't know. I think sometimes I do. Um, so pretty much we had to take her to get her shots and everything. And that was in the morning. We stopped by my job. People wanted to meet her. So I kind of showed her off for a bit. Then we went home. And I forget what we needed. But my husband said he was going to go to the store and get it. So I could just be home with the dogs. And just something came over me where I had it in my head that I wanted to take a pregnancy test, even though we weren't really like on track with trying, but I had this weird feeling because my period was due that day and I wasn't feeling exactly like I was going to my period. Like I, like I felt some similarities, but not the way I normally do. And I'm just so in tune with my body and my schedule, my whole cycle, so I ended up taking the test and there was a faint second line and I'm just like not expecting anything. But when I saw it, I'm like, that's not true, <laughs> you know? So when my husband came home, I shared it with him. He was freaking out with the excitement, but also in disbelief. I ended up going, I think the next day to the doctor to get, I wanted to get a blood test, but <laughs> I ended up showing her the pictures of all the tests I had taken in two days, pretty much. And she's like, just so you know, there's no such thing as being a little pregnant. <laughs> you know, oh, you're totally pregnant. But we'll confirm it with a urine sample. So we did that and I was pregnant. I am pregnant. <laughs> um, so yeah, weeks four, which is when we found out I was four weeks pregnant. I pretty much was just getting headaches and starting to feel a little bit more tired. Weeks five was full on tired. Like... <sighs> like exhausted feeling like wake up tired throughout the day everything wanting to go home I was sleeping earlier like and in bed by like eight um passing out early and like staying asleep solid um some vivid dreams as well the what week was that five week five week six like right on the dot the nausea started um I'm on seven weeks right now going into my eight week so I've been nauseous a lot and it seems pretty consistent every day and it seems like pretty much all day long on and off and Jesus Christ that's my husband oh it's cold outside guys <laughs> I look like a snape of marshmallow right now I know it's just really cold um hi guys so I was vlogging yesterday some while I was home um sorry this is like the best angle ever the worst part is I don't remember where exactly I caught you guys up to but I think the big news is that I'm pregnant and I'm having twins it's so crazy um so yeah, my, my husband and I have been talking about our apartment and how to move things around, trying to create a better flow of space. As this guy comes running out, you're good. Um, so that's something we're gonna do 
like in the new year, like the first week of the new year, we're gonna swap things around and kind of hope for the best. Um, but yeah, looking forward to our first prenatal appointment with an ultrasound. I've already seen them because of that incident that I had. I know if it's an incident, like just where we had to go. Um, but it'll be fun to see them like more developed, of course. Um, we definitely want to do the gender blood tests to find out the sex of both babies. Um, but yeah, I've been working on making a registry on Target. And then my sister suggested creating one on Amazon. Because certain things I wasn't able to add, like the strollers, which I don't understand why double strollers, they were not allowing me to add it. I just think that's weird. I don't expect anyone to buy that for me, but we're just putting everything on there as if it's like our checklist of what we need. And whatever is not gifted to us, obviously we will get. Um, but it's kind of crazy because it went from, okay, we need to get a crib and a changing table to, wow, we need two cribs. We don't just need a stroller and a car seat. We need both, like we need double of it. Two of everything. Um, so yeah, I am seven weeks, going into my eight week this week. And I think Wednesday is my eight week. It's like when I turn eight weeks and today's Monday. crackers to be the best crackers for nausea like just that salt helps um, I have a few different like candy lozenges that are meant for morning sickness and like nausea for your pregnancy um, I kind of rotate between three different brands just depending on what I think I can handle better there's one brand that has like sour ones and sometimes the sour is like okay sometimes I feel like it's too much another one is peppermint flavors and the other one's a ginger and peach that one I find to be the best but I also find that everything just leaves like like even beverages leave a weird taste in my mouth maybe I'll sit down and like show you guys some things that are helping me get through this I am hoping that I don't experience nausea throughout the entire pregnancy. I know every pregnancy is different. I'm hoping it's just during this first trimester. It's just been like from morning to night for me and it comes in waves. And sometimes it's just like this lingering feeling all day long. Um, but yeah, it's a little, a little uncomfortable with that. I, you know, I work in an office and I'm answering phones all day and, you know, it just makes me feel a little like, oh God, please, no, <laughs> kind of moments, but I think I'll be okay overall. Like, it hasn't been that bad. It's just like, I want to say it's more of like a touch of it all day long and then some parts of the day it's just a little bit worse than others, but it's not unbearable and it's not like hard to get through. Like, I am just doing what I need to do just hydrating with water and make sure I got plenty of my go-to snacks right now so having like little snacks throughout the day definitely helps um, but yeah I just wanted to say hi to you guys um and then after like I said after we reveal this to the remaining close friends and we're in that safe point I'll start to be posting these videos for y'all until then, I'm just gonna be filming. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know, I'm so weird. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna get going and I'll talk to you guys soon.